Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to school. Hi, Mr. Presley here with you on this wonderful Wednesday for learning. Hope you're ready for a great day. Today is Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023. We're glad you're back with us and we're ready to have a great day. It's a great day to be a Falcon. Every day is actually. On our lunch menu, of course, it's pizza day. Wednesday is always pizza day. Classic pepperoni pizza with herbed cauliflower, or you can have a, um, what can you have? Oh, a turkey and cheese sandwich. Please remember to take a fruit and a vegetable with every school meal. Hey, how are you doing this month of reading? Remember, this is our, uh, this is National Reading Awareness Month to think about. Um, are you filling out this? Here's the, the reading log. Remember, every time you read at home for pleasure, pleasure reading at home, please put the date, the title of the book, and the minutes read. If you get to eight hours read, and I know some students who already have, great job. You've got this week and next week to try and get there. Um, you can then be able to sign up for High Trek Adventures. Here's the little QR code. Um, you can go on to their website, submit your reading log, and earn a voucher to go to one of their sites to do some fun things like zip lines, laser tag, ropes courses, a climbing wall, all kinds of cool things. Again, that's through High Trek Adventures. Hey, as you know, uh, this month is also Women's History Month. We have this awesome wall that um, was put up. Some students helped put up some of these so far. We've got more women to celebrate this month, and I want to show those to you right now. So some people to think about either now or in our history. This person here, this is Susan B. Anthony. That's Susan B. Anthony. So she lived back in the 1800s up until 1906. She was an American social reformer and a woman's rights activist. She played a pivotal role in the women's suffrage movement because there was a point, believe it or not, women were not allowed to vote. Isn't that wild? It's, it's hard to imagine, but she was a person that spent a lot of time in her life to try and get women the right to be able to vote and have the same equal rights as men. It wasn't until 1920, after she had already passed away, that women finally had that right to vote. Pretty amazing, that's Susan B. Anthony. Another person, this is a person who is with us in our community, this is Jennifer Bumpus. She's our current school board president for Monroe School District. She was originally appointed to the school board in August of 2019, and now she is our director and also the school board president. When asked why she wanted to serve the Monroe School District Board of Directors, she said, I live in Monroe. I graduated from Monroe High School. My entire family lives in Monroe. I built my business in Monroe and my children are students in Monroe. So this is also a significant woman, um, both in women's history, but also in our local community. How about this person? This is Kenteji Brown Jackson. Uh, uh, Jackson was an American attorney and jurist, but she finally became a judge on the Supreme Court. She is the first African American woman to serve on our Supreme Court of the United States. Pretty cool. She was born in Washington, D.C., and she was raised in Miami. She attended Harvard University for, of college and law school, and she served as an editor for the Harvard Law Review. So she was sworn in as the first black a woman to sit on the Supreme Court just recently. Pretty cool. How about these two wonderful women, Venus Williams and Serena Williams? They are sisters and they are two professional American tennis players. They've won so many uh, championships between the two of them. So they were ranked number one and number two in the world in the singles back in 2002. And for the first time in history, two sisters occupy the top positions and they held those rankings for over eight years, first accomplishing that feat again back in 2010. Both have won four gold medals at the Olympics and they've won together. They play sometimes as singles and then sometimes as partners in doubles tennis. They've won, um, let's see, Serena has won 23 Grand Slam titles and Venus has won seven Grand Slam titles, pretty cool. Here's another person, Bessie Coleman, check her out. Bessie Coleman lived from the late 1800s till 1926. Um, her achievements were in science because she became the first licensed black female aviator. She earned her international pilot's license in 1921 and gained fame during the next five years for her air acrobatics and high flying stunts. Pretty cool. 
first black uh, woman aviator. And then the last person I wanted to showcase today is this person, Miss Claudia. Claudia Reyes, our kitchen manager. She was born in Honduras and came to the United States in 1984. She lived in California before coming to Monroe in 1998. She's been our kitchen manager for 22 years in Monroe with all time, the whole time we've been at Frylands, she's been our kitchen manager for, this is her 18th year at Frylands. She loves cooking food for our students. She's served over 800,000 meals for students. That's amazing. Um, last week alone, she served 1,500 breakfast and lunch meals for our Frylands Falcon students and staff. So that's Miss Claudia. So I'm gonna put these women up on this wall here so we can celebrate them and think about them, not just Women's History Month, but every day is Women's History Month because women have been such an important part of our country's history and our world's history as well. So again, I'd love for you to come by and check out this cool wall that we've got. Hey, one birthday to announce today. Happy birthday to Zara Butaccia. Happy birthday, Zara. You can come on down and pick out of the birthday bucket this morning. Have an awesome day. Speaking of awesome day, I want all of us to have an awesome day. It's a great day to be a falcon. Remember, let's soar like falcons do. That means we are safe. We're safe, we're walking in the hallways. We're safe, we're being um, safe when we're out at recess. We're not throwing balls at each other. We're looking out for each other being safe. Let's be safe as that first part of SOAR today. Have a wonderful day and always remember, your Freilands family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance. We'll see you soon.